vitamin D. The levels of this vitamin in Ireland are so low that every week people here are being diagnosed with rickets. And research also shows that vitamin D deficiency is playing a key role in autoimmune diseases, diseases such as type 1 diabetes, celiac disease, rheumatoid arthritis. Well, for more on this, I'm joined now by consultant nutritionist Gay Godkin. Gay, thank you very much indeed for coming in this morning. Just how deficient are we in vitamin D in Ireland? Okay, well, national nutritional surveys would, would show that we're about 80% of us have a vitamin D deficiency. However, there are some groups, key groups, that are at particular risk. So, for example, pregnant mothers, um, small children, the elderly, and sports people. Now, there's very good research out only recently looking at people who are overweight. When people are overweight, they tend to store their vitamin D in the fat cells. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin. So what's actually happening is the vitamin D is locked in the fat cells and it's not getting out into the blood plasma. And it's having a profound effect on their ability to regulate glucose and metabolism of insulin. Really? So yes. as well as not being available for everything else it needs to do, it's, it's causing further obesity in these people? Yeah, well, they're not quite sure whether it's causing further obesity, but what it is doing, yes, in one sense you can say that it is dysregulating the, the metabolism of insulin further, which is a huge problem, obviously, in people who are obese and have type 2 diabetes. In that cohort, it's particularly important. Okay, well, coming back to the basic thing of vitamin D, if, if about 80% of us are deficient in it, why is vitamin D such an important vitamin in the body? Okay, vitamin D is involved in every cell of the body. We do know that there are more receptors on muscle cells than any other cells in the body. And if you consider, you know, your heart is a muscle, it is vitally important for all regulations of the body. One of the areas I suppose we would historically know would be bone health. Um, and if you consider in Ireland, we have one in two Irish women who go on to develop osteopenia and osteoporosis once they get over the age of 55. Similarly now, there are higher rates of men. One in five men have osteoporosis. And, and vitamin D is needed for calcium absorption in bones? Precisely, it's the transport. You, so if you take your calcium and you don't take sufficient vitamin D, you're at risk of calcification of the arteries. So yes, it is crucial to, it's crucial to everything in the body. I suppose that we, we kind of know about vitamin D and bone health, but there are huge other areas, like vitamin D and cancer is a big new area of research. Vitamin D and autoimmune diseases. T tell me about the autoimmune diseases here in Ireland. Right, vitamin okay. D. It's funny because I was just talking to your oncologist there and she would uh, confirm, you know, that she always recommends vitamin D, particularly in cancer patients. In relation to autoimmune, Ireland has a northerly latitude and we're between 51 and 53 degrees north of the equator. So what we do know is looking at nutrition epidemiology, which is simply looking at studies of population health. So the nearer you go to the equator, and even if you go down to the southern countries like the Mediterranean countries, you do not I, see... I'll just to interrupt you. That all of this is because we make vitamin D when we're exposed to the sunlight. So... Yes, the further out you and are strangely enough, we make vitamin D from our friend cholesterol. So it's made under the skin if you have sufficient cholesterol to do that. And it becomes a hormone in the body. So okay. vitamin D I is a hormone. Finish, we're, gonna, we're under time, but that point is that the further you are away from the sun, the more likely you are to suffer from autoimmune diseases. Yes, if you look at Ireland, here. Scotland and the Nordic countries, we have far higher incidence and prevalence of rheumatoid arthritis, colitis, Crohn's, type 1 diabetes, MS, lupus, celiac. All of those are autoimmune and they are directly associated with where we're positioned. Okay, all right. Listen, I'm sorry to have to wrap you so sharply, but thank you very much indeed, Gay, for coming in this morning.